So I built this little uh, <coughs> fuel injector controller slash tester that um, the uh, Hackaweek guy, Dino Segovis, or however you pronounce that, developed here four or five years ago. Um, <coughs> this is just kind of more of a proof of concept. It was a developed circuit. I thought I'd make it, see what it'll, what it'll do. And then I'm probably going to improve upon it from there. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is to make a controller to where I can run eight of these at one time for the purposes of um, testing them for um, volume and then also cleaning them. So in other words, run it, have it so it'll run on PWM continuously for, say, four or five minutes or half an hour, whatever it takes to clean these things out. Um, you really don't want to just put 12 volts on a fuel injector and walk away. It'll overheat. That's why I use PWM. But I just thought I would demonstrate the works on this. I've got it right now. I've got it set up, I think, for the one second triggering. And hit the button and one second it triggers flip it up to the five second one and it's pretty close to five seconds too and that's even some of the components that I used like for example I didn't have some of the capacitors that were the exact absolute exact numbers so I kind of juggled resistance and capacitance numbers to try and get that five second and it came right on five seconds and then also, you can flip this up to here and do it continuous. Now, one, this is part of the proof of concept that I don't particularly like. What I, of course, what you would do is instead of having the momentary push button you have to put on, you know, I, would, I would have some sort of maintain push button. But it doesn't always stay on continuous. Sometimes it'll shut off in five seconds even if you hold the button down. We'll see what it does. This time, I'll reset this. See it? It worked pretty good that time. It doesn't always do that. Sometimes it shuts off in a short period of time, four or five seconds or whatever. But. I think he still has this particular circuit on the internet. It's it's not on the Dino, the Dino Fab website is no longer there. I think he has a hack with the Hack Week website is what he has it on now. I don't know if it's a good way to really show this thing, but it's been all over the internet anyways. Most people have seen this at one time or another. But since he'd already developed this, I thought I'd throw it together really quick and see how it worked out and like I said I'm gonna start out with my own fuel injectors as far as cycling them, testing them for capacity and cleaning them and so on and so forth and if I can get a system that's uh, reliable enough I might start doing that on a actual pay basis actually um, Maybe like a little bit of a business or something doing it. I'm trying to find ways to make a little bit extra money. But you see this, it's a tangled up mess because I'm going to be working on this. I made all the wires way extra long and I don't have everything finalized because, like I said, it's just a proof of concept. So you can see the tangled up mess in there, which is necessary so I can get this cover out of the way so I can adjust things and do whatever I have to do, make some changes. So, I don't know, I just thought I'd show this real quick and seems to work all right, but I'm going to make some changes, I think, to make it a little bit more reliable. I'm thinking instead of having the 555 trigger the Triac, I might have it trigger or I mean the MOSFET, I'm thinking of traffic light controller. I might have it trigger a uh, photo MOSFET instead and then have that trigger the MOSFET. I'll probably have to maybe have two MOSFETs in order to do eight of these. 
I'll just run two off one, two off the other. But I just thought I would <coughs> show this a little bit real quick, and it's another one of the projects I 